His imagination had now run far beyond chaff cutters and turnip slices. Electricity, he said, could operate threshing machines, plows, harrows, rollers and reapers and binders, besides supplying every stall with its own electric light, hot and cold water and an electric heater. By the time he had finished speaking, there was no doubt as to which way the vote would go. But just at this moment, Napoleon stood up and casting a peculiar sidelong look at Snowball, uttered a high-pitched whimper of a kind no one had ever heard him utter before. At this, there was a terrible baying sound outside, and nine enormous dogs wearing brass-studded collars came bounding into the barn. They dashed straight for Snowball, who only sprang from his place just in time to escape their snapping jaws. In a moment, he was out the door, and they were after him. Too amazed and frightened to speak, all the animals crowded through the door to watch the chase. Snowball was racing along the long pasture that led to the road. He was running as only a pig could run, but the dogs were close on his heels. Suddenly he slipped, and it seemed certain that they had him. Then he was up again, running faster than ever. Then the dogs were gaining on him again. One of them all but closed his jaws on Snowball's tail, but Snowball whisked it free just in time. Then he put on an extra spurt and, with a few inches to spare, slipped through a hole in the hedge and was seen no more. <laughs>